Hey, I hope your day's going great. You say it? Hey, I hope your day's going great. Your turn. I always say that. Hey, I hope your day's going great. <laughs> I always do that. You don't want to do it? I almost do that. Can you do it, please? I'm putting this all in the video. I hope your day's going great. Hey guys, one of the um, cool things about being a farmer is you can always experiment. So what I'm gonna be doing today, or at least part of the day, is I'm gonna be replanting uh, some seed starts. So all different varieties. Some of the things that I've, some of the uh, seeds that I've saved from previous years, we have so regular green pepper seeds, uh, just from our organic green pepper that I bought from the grocery store. We have Korean melons. This is from one of the Korean melons that uh, we accidentally grew from our compost the other year. I have no clue where it came from. We've never bought a Korean melon. We've never uh, bought the seeds for Korean melons. So it grew out of our compost. I ate it. It was absolutely amazing and saved the seeds from one of them. So also have, we're going to try some tomatoes. So we're gonna do some, start more tomatoes. See if we can get like a second crop or a third crop of tomatoes. We have Dester, these are all heirlooms. We have Kolb. Um, also gonna have some lemongrass. We're gonna start some lemongrass seeds. And I'm gonna start all these late. I mean, we're right now, we're <coughs> at the end of June. But you know what? Why not? To give it a shot. We're gonna try it. Uh, make some, have some nice healthy plants. Maybe get a, you know, another rotation of um, great stuff coming from these plants. All right, guys, stay tuned. take a break to come into our greenhouse to check on how our tomatoes are doing how the trellising of our tomatoes are going right now we have our drip irrigation working quite nice you can check it out Hi. what's up buddy 
What's that? No, I'm in here, buddy. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi to the camera? You got. I know it's the jib irrigation got a lot of um, a lot of muddy puddles. Yeah, this is why we have um, that's why we have wood chips in here, buddy. Because I want to make sure that we're not getting all muddy all the time. So I decided this year to try to grow uh, ginger, and that I talked about in a previous video. And it is coming up rather awesome. It is interplanted among the tomatoes. Okay, you can see some more sprouting up right here. But I planted them amongst the tomatoes and I have a bed of them over there. If you've never planted ginger, ginger needs really hot, humid environment. This is why I'm putting them in here along with um, the tomatoes. They don't need a lot of sun, but they need hot and humid. So we're rocking and rolling with those. Our tomatoes are rocking and rolling right now too. The variety of uh, tomatoes that we're growing are pretty, it's exciting. Getting a lot of, uh, let's see. Once again, I'm gonna uh, go back and, and we'll talk about that, the video when I talked about the suckers. I'm gonna do a little bit of maintenance right here. As we're coming up right here, this is a sucker that needs to be pulled off. This is my main lead stem coming up. These are branches right here that come off that grow no fruit. This is a sucker that would be another stem which I need to snap off just like that and don't worry about hurting your tomato plant once again they'll heal okay once again here's another sucker up top snap that off guys so this right here is not a sucker this is going to grow a tomato and then it will stop growing it'll die off so drip irrigation is working good in here we got a nice hot sunny day going on right now our um, jalapeno peppers are starting to come through a little bit we're having a major issue right now with our cucumbers our issue is not the fact that they're not growing the issue is that we're lacking in pollinators to pollinate them in order to grow cucumbers. So you'll see this plant right here, there was a cucumber coming out of there. However, we'll go to the plant next to it and it's flowering, but no cucumbers are forming on the flowers. So about half of our cucumbers right now are pollinated. All right guys, our day was cut short by a severe line of thunderstorms coming through. Let's go out here and see what we can see. This is always exciting, except for the fact that you never know what's gonna to happen to your farm. Here comes the rain. I'm definitely not gonna complain about the rain. It's pretty awesome. Chickens got put away. I just finished harvesting all the potatoes. Arlo keeps on letting me know that he's worried that the the farm is going to get ruined because of the rain. So we have to now that he's three, we have to kind of watch what we say because he's uh, always gets worried, just the same kind of worry that we get. So anybody that's going to build a nursery or a greenhouse make sure you don't do a roof like that i just did the slanted roof and the problem with the slanted roof is that the plastic on the top catches the water in the areas in which um there's no uh, rafters so yeah not a good idea all right guys thanks for uh watching today and uh I'm here. I'm going to watch this thunderstorm. Take it easy. Bye.